What's up, Earthly and Universal family? Uh, much love to all the uh, tribes, Japhites, Hamites, and Sham Shamites. Uh, raining today. You know, it's awesome. <laughs> been raining for a while, but it's cool. I call it liquid sunshine. It comes for the most high, so it's blessed and it helps us. Uh, got some positive energy coming at you today. You know that's the most high. So, uh, and notice I didn't say racist. I said tribes, not racist. D-H-A, don't hate. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about, before we get into the lineage of Ham, because it, when it got to Ham, mixing went wild. And that's what the origin of tribes has been about. It's been about the mixing. But you got to go back to the beginning. Who's the first mixer? And that's Noah. <laughs> so let's talk about Noah. But you got to understand uh, the reason why it's Noah and it's not Jared's kids who went to mix with the angels because uh, we're going to show you. Uh, and you have to go to the book of Enoch. The book of Enoch in Apocrypha. You know the book of Enoch that uh, Jude has two or three verses of? <laughs> We're going to go to Enoch, uh, chapter 106, the whole chapter, 1 through 19. Uh, Enoch, chapter 106, verse 1 through verse 19, that's the whole book. But what you have to realize that uh, in verse 2, Noah was the first albino, <laughs> black albino. Yes, he looked white and had woolly hair. In verse 2, black features. Uh, <laughs> and uh, his father was scared to death. He didn't know what to do because in verse 4, there was no other man on the earth that looked like Noah. <laughs> he thought he was an angel or something because his bright, bright appearance, you know, that shined the room. And so, and, uh, and he was also talking right out the womb. Noah was talking, prodigy. <laughs> so the Most High had some plan for him. And then what you have to understand is that uh, because of his appearance uh, in verse 13 through 16, the Most High was doing a new thing because Enoch, the great-grandfather, said that his father, Jared, has sinned. Them and the angels had transgressed against the Lord of Most High. So Enoch the great-grandfather told Methuselah, the grandfather of Noah, who is the father of Lamech, he said, hey, Lamech, your son Noah is, is judgment. It's judgment uh, that will bring salvation to Noah's family, Noah and his family, but it's judgment and destruction to everybody else. And so uh, the Most High, he knows all, guys. He knows the ending from the beginning. And so bringing Noah into to the world as the first black albino uh, looking white, then uh, you got to understand that he had three sons that would uh, cover three parts of the whole earth for a reason in three uh, geographical different regions. And so you know the Most High had to give him a black son, black, black, and a brown son, tannish, brown, mocha, and he had to give him a high yellow sun <laughs> that was black because they were going to need it because the climate was going to be a little bit different after the flood. Uh, it changed. Even the ages changed. And uh, so, you know, when you look at this mixing thing, it goes back to Noah and most the Most High had a plan for this thing. And it was judgment both ways. Judgment of salvation and judgment of destruction. So uh, you guys really need to go read those other books, like I tell you always, and uh, study past and present history in totality before the information ages. We know it is no more. Uh, much love to the tribes. I always give a shout out to tribes because we ain't doing nothing but uh, marrying cousins. And it's not really cousins, it's kindreds because brothers and sisters have different bloodlines. So don't believe that lie about cousins. We're kindred. We're kindred. So it's just cousins marrying cousins everywhere, mixing everywhere. Now, 
we're going to get into ham. See you in the next segment. DHA, much love.